What is up guys and gals, welcome back to Stanswitch, and today I have a lot to cover. Um, as you can see in the background, I'm not in Factory Sim, but that is because there's something kind of behind where the camera is and I'm going to be showing at the end of this video, but before I do that, I have to go over a lot of stuff that has been kind of, not really leaked, but is hinted at and kind of promised by um, I Love Gloves 21, the gaming developer, the head developer, I guess, for Gaming Glove Studios. Now, I'd like to give a huge thanks to Yalo or Muteral, um, whatever he wants to go by in the Discord server, because he actually kind of found these screen caps and showed me quite a few um, that were actually from the 7th of August. You'll see when I put them up on the screen here in a second, all the dates. I think all of them were actually on the 7th of August. He was just talking back and forth with people that were active at the time in the um, Discord server for Gaming Glove Studios. And there's just a lot to unpack, and I will just say right now that the future of Factory Simulator or just whatever Gaming Gloves has um, in store for us is very bright, and, you know, I'm looking forward to it, and, you know, I kind of just want it to come out now, but I need to be patient, and I guess I need to be patient too, but eventually we will be getting, hopefully, a lot of these put into the actual game. But the first set of screen caps, I have 17 total um from the discord that's not all of the times he talked or messaged um just kind of the main ones stuff that i feel like i could talk over and maybe you know give my reaction to or add stuff to and kind of you know get my two cents on so if you want to go back and look at it you can and i on the last kind of set i also have the quote unquote like commands you put in the top right of the search bar within the discord server to find all these messages, but I'm going to put them up right now, and so we're going to start going over those. So the first one is just, um, since tier 7 might take a minute, going to say it's going to have liquids, hopefully in pipes. So this actually kind of goes somewhat with my satisfactory type, like, um, guess for the new game. But if any of y'all played Satisfactory, not only are you mining materials and like minerals, like in Factory Simulator, but you're also dealing with liquids, at least in the higher tiers. So that's definitely something probably that maybe inspired him. But even if it did inspire him, it's a lot like that other game, Satisfactory, which is a Steam game, not on Roblox at all. Looks nothing like it, but you know, this is a kind of a much more basic version of it. And so the second one is like a pipe would be kind of a conveyor or would kind of be a conveyor sort of that looks like a pipe. So that didn't really make sense. But if you go on to so functionality, they will be like conveyors. The other option is to just use conveyors for fluids and have them bottled or something. This is actually another thing Satisfactory has. I actually haven't gotten to that part in the game, so I haven't gotten to bottle stuff, but you can start bottling oil and fuel and other liquids that you harvest. So just, I guess that's kind of up to him as far as how he wants to transport the stuff and how easy it will be for him to do that, because that probably takes a lot of coding, especially for liquids and whole new animation stuff, so we'll see how that works out. And then he says, um, oh yeah, I guess there might be a fluid cell zone. I got to plan out how it would work better and if I need fluid versions of containers. So, you know, little tanks and stuff that can hold um, fluids, maybe measured in like gallons or liters instead of just by, you know, a number of, you know, here's one cosmic power glove in this container or one gyroscope or something like that. It would be, you know, here's one liter, one gallon of whatever the liquid is. Then he goes on to say, I was thinking you would kind of do like you make acid using sulfur and water, then etch a metal plate with it to make a circuit. Or you need water to quote unquote wash ores or something. So definitely going to be combining liquids and solids a lot. And you'll see also in the later screen caps that he kind of comes up with more ideas on how to combine those two. And then also what I like a lot is this next one, the last one for this little set, is yes, I was thinking of having a nuclear tier at some point. Um, that's another thing Satisfactory has. It's one of the last tiers. It's like the 7th or 8th tier, at least in this current build of the game, if you've played it. I haven't gotten there to that point, but that would be very cool to have nuclear stuff in the game. Granted, it wouldn't be as cool as Satisfactory because there's like a whole power component and needing to power stuff. So maybe they could integrate that into the brand new game that they're, that they're you know, building and going to come out with. So we'll just have to see what happens with that. And then let me go on to the second set. So, 
Um, this first one, so you can make acid and do stuff with that. Maybe you need to melt down metals to make alloys, like there's liquid metals. So this is what I was talking about, how he goes into depth as far as combining the liquids and solids to make kind of, I wouldn't really call them alloys because alloys are mixtures of metals. I don't know what happens, you know, when you uh, <laughs> combine liquids and metals. Granted, that doesn't really happen. You just turn the metals into liquids by melting them. But, you know, we'll just see where that goes with that. This game isn't really based on real life, as you know. You know, there are um, plenty of made-up ores and minerals in this game. Um, so it's not the end of the world if, you know, things don't make 100% sense as far as if they would work in the real world. But then the second screen cap in this set, um, yeah, I'll probably add two more. He's referring to plots, as you can see. So hopefully we'll have a 2x3 plot in the future, and that will give us more room to work. And I assume that 2x3 will also extend up the three stories that we have now. So it'll be as vertical in all three plots, um, or all 2x3 plots, all six plots are going to have. And then he kind of outlined, um, going back to that first um, screen cap in this set, um, and the third one is just a little example of how it would work. So you'd wash the copper ore with water, and then you'd put it through an arc furnace, and that would melt the liquid or the, the copper into a liquid. And then you'd cast it into a copper ingot, and yeah, um, I don't know how that would work though. If he's planning on to call it like redoing the lower tiers because this last screen cap i'm gonna skip down to that one he says i think the water pump harvester would be a thing cheap or harvester thing would be cheap enough to where you get it early game so i don't know if he's planning on redoing the whole lower tiers and how they work or how it's gonna work if the water you know pump harvester thing as he as he puts it um would be affordable at those lower tiers so we'll definitely just have to wait and see how that works out and then we're gonna go back to the fourth um screen cap but i think in terms of liquids the only liquid that would be harvested raw would be water everything else would be melted down items are crafted from an with an item or liquid so this makes a lot more sense as far as not combining like in the first one um actually I misread that first one. <laughs> I realized melt on metals. I was thinking he was saying um, make like makes like the acid and the metals to make alloys. But yeah, melt down the metals and then combine them when they're melted to make alloys. That makes a lot more sense. And that's how it's done in the real world. You can't just you know mash two metals together and make an alloy. Kind of how the game does it now. So that does make a lot more sense and you know would be a lot more realistic, I guess. Um, and then going back to this fourth one, he said everything else would be either from melted on items or crafted within items or liquids. Um, doesn't make <laughs> perfect grammatical sense, but I guess he's saying um, we'd start making a lot of things or making things from melted down metals, um, making alloys or using those maybe melted alloys or solid alloys to make other things. So yeah, <laughs> don't really have anything else to add for that. And the third set out of four sets so we have one more after this one um also he says you gotta he has to think of a theme for this update and because this last one the tier six had angelic and devilish ores and so there was like that going on as he puts it and so someone um i don't have the name of them mentioned dragon and phoenix um kind of as a theme and he said what would be that water equivalent of that B that feels like if I do a hell tier or something that would fit perfectly I don't exactly know know what he means by this but it's I don't know we'll see what he thinks about it as the theme granted the theme isn't too deep into the actual tier it's just like the ores that went to the tier but like the machines or nothing like that really was themed or like was visually um, apparent in the tier, I guess. Like, none of the machines were devilish or angelic, if that makes sense. They're all just the same, kind of. Maybe the things that were produced in them, but you know, at a certain point, everything was just cosmic. It was like a mixture of the two. Um, and then the third cap wouldn't be this tier, but that's a good idea for later. You need to lava to melt on ores or something. I believe they're talking about adding more liquids in the future besides just water and maybe adding another like an underground area that had lava in it and then you start using that as well i don't know how you'd harvest that or bring it back to your base but it's definitely something to think about for the future um but then he says yeah i don't know i'll figure out something that makes sense the hardest part is going to be topping the cosmic power glove here at gaming glove studios we hold gloves in the highest regard so 
I guess that was a little joke he put out, but I don't really think there's much insight to that. Um, maybe the final thing will be something glove related as well, but you know, just maybe more powerful or something more cool. So we'll see. And then, yeah, the last screen cap for this set is, yeah, and the fluid system gives us some cool ideas too. Like I want to be able to combine acid and metal to do something. And I also want to bring back stone. That was in tier one. And since then there's been no pure stone thing. So I guess they're kind of coming full circle and he's going to try to come or try to bring stone back into um, the game. And, you know, it'll hope, I guess it'll make a comeback in tier seven or maybe tier eight or later tiers, depending on how everything works out. I'm interested to see how that's going to happen, but on to the last set right now. Um, I guess this is kind of another thing where he talks about crystal sand, I guess, because he's talking about reviving stone, but also sand. I didn't capture that because, like I said, I didn't capture every single time he talked in Discord or else this video would be, you know, like twice as long. So he's talking about um, making crystal sand and then I guess mostly I thought make a liquid crystal. But then he's saying, you know, I don't know of lots of interesting ideas with liquids. So that's just see how this plays out. You know, it's up to him. It's up to what he can code and how much time he wants to spend. Because I know, I don't know if I, um, I didn't get into screen cap. He was talking about how he doesn't want the, the update to take too, too long. So there might be like an intermediate update after the initial drop of tier seven that adds a few more things just so we can get that tier seven. And then, you know, add some stuff afterwards once the main thing is out. And so, yeah, he said, I'll figure out a cool tier. Don't worry. Maybe it'll be, maybe I'll have it be electronics focused. I don't know if he's referring to tier seven or tiers after tier seven, but yeah, and using the liquids to manufacture electronics, I don't know lots of options. So like I said, for this, these, I guess these last kind of four lines of words for this first little screen cap, I guess, I don't know if he's referring to tier seven or probably tiers afterwards. Um, we'll just have to see where tier seven goes and then what's kind of possible or available after then. And then someone, I guess, mentioned oil as well, because that is a thing that's also unsatisfactory. It's like, you have to do with water for cooling generators for power, but then you get oil later on, use that for fuel, um, for other power production facilities. So oil I'm saving with past like, manufacturing. So that'll probably be a tier seven or tier eight, I meant, or maybe part way through tier seven um, thing that's added in. And the final screen cap is just um, him saying that tier eight or nine will probably have a new map similar to how tier six was different. So I don't know if tier seven is going to use the current map. I assume it is just because I guess liquids are the main thing being added. And because water, it seems like is maybe the only thing going to be added at first. We don't really, excuse me, need a new map for that. So we'll definitely have to just wait and see. And that also takes a lot more time to make a whole new map up. And then this last one is what you want to type in the top right corner to find all of these things. If you, you don't have to put this second thing, the after 2021 to 0806 in, you can just um, put the from I love gloves 21 hashtag 1550. But to find these specific, I guess, um, what's it called? These things that he was typing in the general chat, you can put the after 2021 August um, 6th to um, kind of narrow it down and make it easier to find. Just go to the fourth page and then start from there and just start scrolling down, I guess, in the main little thing in the middle. But um, I think it's enough for the screen caps. And finally, I can show you all what's behind this, um, the camera. So this is a place made by Miss Mythic, who she, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume it's a she just because it's Miss Mythic. Um, I'm sorry if she watches this and she, I'm just going to say they actually, I'm just going to say they because I'm not going to assume gender, even the name, but okay, yeah. Um, they have made this area in, which is a bunch of concepts as far as what could be put in a um, factory simulator. And I love gloves. The dev was actually kind of inquiring about these in specific. These he called them S-shaped, but said they weren't really S-shaped. I guess more like a. I don't really know how to describe them. There's kind of like zigzag um, conveyors that could be added in. That instead of having to do the conveyor um, container and then conveyor to like move things over just one, kind of like this one does, this would replace it, and this would make it so much easier. And you could just, you know, put two of these if you wanted to move over two. And 
three, I guess, containers would be more, um, what's it called, efficient. But she has a lot of things put into this little game that you can just run around in. I'm not going to go over everything. I just want to talk about these because I love gloves. Ask about them. So I'm going to put the link to this, though, down in the description. So you can go check it out on your own, read through all these, and see all the ideas um, they have. And, you know, maybe we'll be seeing these in the future. I would love to. I think these are very well-made models, and they did a very good job on them. I don't know how long it takes to make stuff like this, but I think they look very good, very clean. And, you know, hopefully we'll see them in the game someday. They look like pretty cool ideas. And just, yeah, they look like they fit right into the game. So, um, I guess as usual, if you have any comments or anything you want to add, put it down in the comment section. Um, message me in the Discord, at me in there if you really want. Just don't spam me, and we can discuss it in there and, or on the comment section. Uh, also, the discussion page on my channel that we can talk in, but um, I'd love to hear what y'all think about this. Um, and also, again, a huge thank you to Yalo um, slash Muterol for even kind of bringing this stuff up and showing me these initial screen caps to, you know, kind of... I don't know, encourage me to make this video or get me interested in making this video, which, you know, now that I looked at everything and as I was going through everything, it's like I got more and more excited to actually make this. So, yeah, but hopefully y'all enjoyed this and learned a lot. I know I did, too, as I was kind of going through all the screen caps and also hopefully you're as excited as I am for the future. I just hope that all this stuff does come to be or at least if at least like 50% of what he kind of was talking about and maybe promising comes to be, I will be happy. You know, if 100% of it comes to be, I'll be even more happy because, you know, I'm just, I'm just afraid that motivation might be lost and, you know, some of it might not, you know, come to fruition, but we'll definitely just have to wait and see. You know, I'm not a game developer. I don't know how long some of this stuff takes to make, but it will probably take some time, but... I am, you know, rooting for the whole team at Game Club Studios to come out with something good and something fun that will, you know, have people coming back for more and waiting for more just like I am. And hopefully it just has a bright future. So, yeah. Um, as usual, though, I'll catch you all next time. So peace out.